first event I started on was P-Bars. The first time my routine was nice. My legs didn't dip down in the L-sit. The problem started after I did my drop cast. I couldn't get a nice swing out of it, making me take a couple of extra swings. Each extra swing is a big deduction, which is why I got a low score. So there really isn't anything wrong with this high bar routine, except for some of the requirements. I'm missing a skill because I don't like high bar and it scares me. Missing a skill means you lose an entire point, which is a lot in gymnastics. And on top of that, half turn isn't even a dismount, meaning I'm missing a dismount. And that's why I have a really low score. Honestly, this is a really nice floor routine. There are not many really big mistakes, like right there, and only a little hop on the landing. Another little mistake I had was a little bit of a bent knee, bent knee on my sideline there. But the big mistake of this routine, which is why I got a low score, is falling right here on one of the easiest skills. And it doesn't look like much, but it made me lose more than a point. And I got a 12 even though I would have gone like a 13-2 or a 13-6. And if you know me or my level, that is a lot. For this comp, I had been struggling with making my Palma routine, so that was my only goal. You see, in my half stock lead, I, my legs bend a bit. My legs keep on fa falling apart in my Shivato, and in my flare, my leg hits the pommel and makes me really do a big bend. Now, there aren't many big mistakes in my rings routine, but there are a couple small ones. Like in my muscle up here, you see my hand slips and I kind of get caught off guard and I see almost fall on the race go. You see my pike roll, I fall forward instead of slowing down, I get stuck there in my pike roll. But then the rest of my routine was nice. I was supposed to do an L-sit after my pike roll though. And my dismount, I ended up sticking, which is surprising because it's a blind landing. My vault doesn't look that bad. You'll see here that my hands pop off the back of the vault, which got me scared of hitting my actual back. That's why I hopped. you also see on top that I bend my knees a bit. My coach thought that was the nicest vault I've ever done, which I could agree. You know, that's also the easiest vault you could possibly do, which is also another reason why I got a really low score.